What is the worst thing you've overheard while pretending to be asleep? My mom having an affair with her fiancé's best friend who was married. In the same room that I was sleeping in. I was like 10 years old. Parents talking about plans for when they were going to have sex. No wonder people at school think he's gay. My stepmom. Old roommates planning to kick me out. I was a camp counselor. Two girls very much like to make hot or not lists. One of them suggested a male counselor was hot. And the other said he was saying mean things about me behind my back. Which made him not hot. Hurt to hear that from my campers. But glad they supported me. Parents divorce. In college woke up to roommate's bed creaking. I shoot up to see what the hell is going on. There I see some woman on her back with her legs full spread eagle and my roommate just pile. Driving it like it was his last day on earth. Like a good bro I quickly lie back down and pretend to be asleep. Her. In between gasps of air. Is your roommate awake? Quote. Him. Nah he sleeps through anything. Cut to next morning. I casually get up and turn on my PlayStation 2 and start playing some random game. Roommate's fling gets up and casually comes over and sits next to me. Her. Good morning my name. Me. Good morning her name. Her. Did you sleep good last night? Quote. Me. Yeah. I can sleep through anything. As the last word left my mouth I immediately realize I blew it. She began a huge flurry of slaps at my roommate while cursing at him. He didn't care because he was too busy laughing the whole time. The person in the bunk under me beating his dick like it owed him money. My sister got drunk and I heard a loud thud and she blacked out. Two of her friends and my mom and dad were shouting at each other and they were saying to shut up. Cause they didn't want to wake me up and they were all crying thinking she was dead and I couldn't. Tell my sister I was happy she didn't die. Now I appreciate seeing her every week. My family were staying at a friend's house and had to share a room. My dad comes to bed hammered and says to my mom something along the lines of does it impress you that I'm this drunk and can still perform. I actually wanted to die. Dude just do it. It's not like she'll remember. She's asleep it's okay to touch her last night. No pet out of there so fucking quick. Dum. I was called fuck me by a girl. Something like she's too old for this. I'm not going to carry her up to bed anymore. And that was the last time I was magically transported from the living room couch to my bedroom. Probably the funniest was on a camping trip with the boys. I have sleep apnea and use a CPAP machine. I overheard a couple of my mates talking about smoking a joint and hotboxing me through the air. Intake of my CPAP machine. When I was like 10 or 11 I visited my dad and while we were watching a movie I tried to fall asleep and I proceeded to hear him fuck his GF on the bed I was trying to sleep on. When I woke up all I saw was clothes on the floor. I don't know why I didn't just get up and leave but at least I fell asleep before it really started. I wasn't pretending to be asleep per se, but I was well on my way. I was under anesthesia and was fading in and out. I remember closing my eyes to help move things along. I was in a lot of pain because my appendix ruptured. This happened years ago, so I can't remember all of the details. Unfortunately, I remember being moved over to an operating table, and they told me to take my shirt off. I think I heard someone go. What do you think would happen if I poked her belly button right now? Quote, I was an Audi prior to having an appendectomy. They went through my belly button so that is no longer the case. Anyway, someone very quickly responded. Dude, that is not funny. Remember what happened the last time. It's possible I was starting to dream. But I remember it making me feel a mix of amusement and anxiety. Tears of joy. My ex and his friend joking about how easy it'd be to rape me while I was sleeping. My roommate and her FWB having loud, dirty talk sex. I just had my wisdom teeth out and I think they assumed I was passed out on pain meds. My grandma said she never had anything against blacks. But Mexicans however, 
acted asleep while family were talking amongst themselves about getting me married off to this girl, who's educated but five years older than me. I was 15. Then she got married and divorced and absolutely ragged all abused. So I actually feel bad about it now. My mom getting the shit beat out of her. While in kindergarten, I heard the teacher talking on her phone and saying that she doesn't feel comfortable having an Indian kid in her class. At the time I didn't understand why she hated me but now I know. Parents discussing the gift that Santa had got for me for Christmas no mouth face. I was in trade school in a different city than my hometown. So I was staying at my in-law's home. My wife's dad was away for the weekend and I noticed her mom was wearing fancy dresses. She's a very beautiful woman often mistaken for my wife's sister. She also seemed extra giddy before she would go out for the evenings. On the evening, my father-in-law got home. I was in my room studying when I heard him yell at the top of his lungs, so you have asterisk 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 the guy. I can only assume she felt guilty and told him since it was soon after he go home. Anyways, he was yelling at her for most of the night and I heard lots of crying from both of them. I heard some pretty terrible things. They are both very nice people and it was sad to hear them on their worst night. They've stayed together and it looks like they are fighting to make their marriage work. My father-in-law was very cold, distant, and angry for a couple of years. But they seem to be warm towards each other again. Also, the following morning they apologized for all the noise they made and I told them I was just listening to music. My dad and stepmom was having a foursome with a couple of their friends. We were at a summer house and they did it in the living room. I felt so uncomfortable eating breakfast the next day. I was doing a all-nighter with the boys. Gaming of course. I fell asleep at some point playing Minecraft Creative. And woke up to. How often do you guys pleasure yourselves? Edit Grammar. Roommate's boyfriend and his friend came into my room when they thought I was asleep. It was warm and I was sleeping naked with minimal blanket coverage. I frozen and pretended to sleep. They proceeded to talk about my body and how it was anyone's type. Also how easily it was to drug ladies these days. Oh and also the friend talked about how easy it would be to steal, sell my boyfriend's boat motor. That he had stored in the room. Yeah so they were kicked out and friend became an ex-friend because she was pissed I'd let my boyfriend kick them out. My roommate's one night stand dismount because his dick was hitting her bladder and she waddled off for a piss before getting back on top. My dad explaining how I was an accident. My sister's soon to be fiance wanking while saying her name. We could do it. She wouldn't tell anyone if we took photos of her first. Well this was disturbing to read. My parents discussing whether or not I was gay. And exploring where they went wrong with raising me. Too many hugs. On a class trip. I heard a girl talk badly about me to the other girls in my room. Saying I was a retard and too dumb to stand up for myself. She said the only reason she didn't bully me out of this school was because she needed me to help. Her with my homework. Then my best friend stood up for me. She said that I wasn't dumb and just a bit shy. And then told her to f asterisk 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 off. Come on. He's asleep. Okay. Fine. I'll do it. But how do I suck it? Like just let it go in your mouth and stroke it with your tongue? Closing parenthesis. Well. I'll try. Oh yeah? Choking noises coughing fuck you. We were staying at a hotel near Disneyland. The walls to the next apartments might as well have been paper thin. We heard two people next door, male and female, barge into their room and start playing around, laughing loudly. Before we knew it, it escalated and they were arguing and throwing stuff. The female started saying no as if she was being forced to do something. She screamed quite loud and then it was just dead silent. We never saw anyone leave the room or heard any noises for the next two days. Just a weird experience. Had a bunk bed in college and one night my girlfriend and I woke up to my roommate banging some chick on the top bunk. 
My girlfriend asked me what we should do and I just mumbled just go back to sleep because I figured saying something to them at the moment would make things much more awkward. He still doesn't know. Not me. But my wife heard her boyfriend having sex with her best friend. This was obviously long before we met. My friends talking about going into my wallet later and steal my money. And then leave before I notice. I kick them out. When should we tell him that he's adopted? Should we tell him about being found in a dumpster? My friend's roommate having an argument with his girlfriend in the room I was sleeping in. Turns out as my friend and six more of us had gone out for the night and left the roommate out of our plans that he'd cheated on her and she found him in bed with another girl. My friend was upstairs so didn't hear them but I was crashing on his couch until morning downstairs with a blanket over me. Heard the entire argument as they walked out his bedroom and into the lounge. Including her screaming, who is that on your couch? Does he know? And whoever the F he is I bet he wouldn't be as stupid as you. I got up as they both ran out a door. My friend did finally hear and came down to see if I was alright. I said, me? What about her? Single quote. His roommate was an arsehole. He kicked him out after that as his girlfriend was super nice to us. While well, he hit on everyone in the group. Did drugs and was behind on rent. Total douchebag. People gossiping about me. My Airbnb host having loud sex right outside my door. My friend and her boyfriend having sex while we were staying in a hotel room together. There were two beds and my boyfriend and I were on the other one. She was so drunk and her boyfriend was like no stop. They'll hear us. No, but he finally gave in. I kinda gave her a shit about it later though. She later unfucked a different guy in my bed that same year during a party. We don't speak anymore. Probably my dad's dementia screaming. Usually nothing is wrong. But he'll wake up at 4 or 5 in the morning to yell at God and grind his teeth. You never do get used to it. I wasn't pretending to be asleep so much as they assumed I was asleep. My in-laws thought I was still napping after dropping my kid off at school. And they started to shit talk me. They said I was a terrible mom. I didn't care about my kids at all and they better buy a cake because I would rather sleep all day than make him a cake. It was his birthday and my god. It was only 10 a.m. It doesn't take that long to make and frost a cake for him. Anyways, I cried in my room for two hours before they left to buy groceries, i.e. drink themselves into a stupor. Before I got up and made the cake and birthday dinner my child asked for, I didn't tell my husband what they said until a week later because I didn't want to ruin his or my child's day. Roommate getting a blow job. The worst part was when I heard him say, I'm gonna come. Legit wanted to die. No one believes me when I pretend to be asleep. Before I got divorced, was laying in bed late, 11 a.m. or so, on my day off. After a long string of I think 10 or so work days in a row. My ex, who refused to get a job, was in the next room playing a video game. And I heard him say, that motherfucking bitch is still sleeping. My boyfriend and I were sleeping on one couch while two of our friends were on another couch in the room. Still up and talking. I wasn't asleep but I was cozy. So I probably appeared as such. I overheard my friend confiding in the other. The two of them were a lot closer than I was to either of them at the time. About how she thought she was struggling with an ed. When we got closer she ended up coming clean. Coming out about it? I'm not sure how to word it. About it to me and a few others to hold herself accountable for recovery. So it all turned out okay. But I felt really bad for hearing it before she was ready to tell me. From an outsider's perspective, it would have sounded like a good thing. But I was right on the edge then of breaking up with my ex. Partly because it just didn't work out over time and partly because I had been developing feelings for my best friend. And so one drunken night with our social circle, the rest were gone on sleeping. I was half asleep, and the two of them started talking just as I regained consciousness. They were talking about me, and from what it looks like they were indirectly trying to discuss their feelings for me. 
I spent much more time with my ex so obviously I thought he knew me better. It was the first time I had heard my best friend talk so affectionately and defensively about me. I felt so conscious. If it were a legal match, my ex lost terribly. I wished I hadn't known about it that way. Because it led to an emotionally messy turn of events. Some guys in hoods preparing to stab me and my friends and steal my uncle's ring. This hermit guy helped us out. My gardener and I ended up taking a walking vacation across New Zealand because of him. He's a real nice guy. My mom on a payphone. Begging her boyfriend for more heroin. My mom. Her sister and their friend talking about sucking dick and sex. I was about six and in the next room. My parents are pretty straight-laced. My mom being raped by her abusive husband. It was on a bunk bed and me and my brother were on the top bunk silently crying. I don't talk about it much but it sticks with me. What's wrong with insert my name? He always looks so depressed. Oh and his haircut sucks deadpan face.